show you through a little bit different, a little bit funky. It's looking so much better. We're already here and I'm not ready. So he is graduating tomorrow, maybe when this video is out. And it actually was just a big hole. We can take up to eight weeks. I'll try and show this to you next week. We've got three backpacks for them. Good morning and welcome to another week in a building site. Da -da -da -da. I feel like I have to add in my own sound effects. Let me show you through to the study. So this is a wall my husband built this weekend. So he built the frame and then this is plasterboard I think that goes on it. Then we need to get the plaster to come in, plaster it all and then what I want him to do is do some sort of what's it called like beading not really beading you know like panels there we go that and what i really like him to do is like a secret door here he doesn't know how to do this whether we it's a sliding door or whether it's a push door i kind of wanted one of those secret bookshelves where you push and then it opens and you can go in but I don't know how that would work, so we kind of gave up on that idea. But like a push door, so it looks like a panelled wall, and then you sort of push it like a bit in like an old school kind of house. You know what I mean? So that's going to go there, and then I'm hoping to maybe I was going to have some sort of table there. It's not going to be big enough, is it? I'm not really sure what's going to happen in this room. But look, so we've just this is the junk room. We've just literally piled everything in here. Uh, I'm trying to work there which is not going well but this is the study let me show so you. we now have this wall up i am concerned because the light is going to be not great in here this is all going to be panelled with the mdf that's here going all the way around and then he's built some wood here so this is going to be made into a desk i'm not quite sure how but anyway i'm leaving it to him i need like a desk sort of going around like this Originally I was going to go over there, but I think I'm actually going to go here and he's going to take that sort of corner because we're going to build a cupboard here because I've just got so much stuff that I want to be able to put away in a cupboard and not have on show. I find that my desk is just so messy. So that's going to be desk, desk, cupboard, some other cupboard sort of here, I think. Then we're going to try and make that into a little window seat so it's a bit nicer to sit on. The fridge freezer will go here. Not sure about that corner yet, yeah, something. And then we're gonna have a sink here and another dishwasher, because we've got this dishwasher here, you see, which is our old dishwasher. So that is gonna be used in here, I think. So we're going to probably go with DIY kitchens again, because they were really, really good. We're gonna go for a handleless one, so it's a bit more modern in here. And we are deciding on the paint, but I think we're gonna go for, wait for it, yellow yeah i know it's a bit bright isn't it but this room does need brightening up and i want it to be like a warm happy place to work in a little bit different a little bit funky the other room is very gray and white so i think it'd be really nice to have a change in here I'm not sure how it's going to work but anyway we're gonna see how it's gonna how how it works if it looks horrendous then i think we need to change it but that is the plan in here I also need to figure out where to put things like the kids books I kind of really want to build something in or have a nice dress or something in this space but I don't know what I was worried about it being really small but I don't think it is I think it works perfectly fine doesn't it I think it'd be great as a study space I would quite like an armchair in here though I'm not quite sure where that will go but I would like to be able to sit down here somewhere and then in here i just i'm still toying with lots of ideas i'm not sure what we're going to do so this has just arrived in the post it is from this company here and i don't really know how to say it so that's why i'm not saying it. um but they're obviously based in germany but they contacted me uh through instagram and i have got these prints to go up in the girls room I'll show you now the space where they're going to go. I thought what was nice about them is they're all different sizes. So this is obviously the bigger one. And then we've got M for Matilda, a P for Phoebe. I think the wrap is still stuck on there. 
and I really like this. They've got a whole range of these ones, which are really cool. So I think Phoebe will love that. This one she just thought was quite funny. And this is kind of just sort of sums them up at the moment. They really like this sort of artwork. I think Phoebe will love that. So my plan is to get it up on the wall with some other bits, which I have got. Um, but I just need to work out where it's all going to go on there. Um, so that is my plan. Oh, I've left the fridge open. This new fridge just likes beeping at me. It's really irritating, actually. Let me just shut it up. Yeah, it really, it keeps beeping. I showed a picture on my Instagram of this space this morning, and I've had so many messages about DIY kitchens. Loads of people have been messaging. Now we've finally got the floor down, it's looking so much better. James also added in that little grate. So that is for from, what's it called? Uh, Leicester, Boroughs of Leicester. Oh, I can't remember. They have really lovely handles and all sorts of things like that. But they sent me that piece there. So that is the dishwasher. We just wanted to add in some little features. What I would really like is that bit cut out, put my toes into, like, so you can sort of put, get in close to the sink. I think that's the idea of it. And one of one over here would be pretty good too, but I think that was a bit much for my husband. He was getting really stressed with these skirting boards. So the skirting has been stuck on. So the idea is that when you open the this, it glides. So he's had to add on that and then put this to it. And the problem is our floors are really wonky. So he's had to like sand bits, make bits higher so that it all fits nice and smoothly on here like this. And the same with the dishwasher. This was a massive stress because it's an in-frame door. We needed to make sure that we could actually open it up and then lift it all the way down. Like, let me show you. There we go. Can you see? So there's a lot of chat on the DIY Facebook group. I think it's called DIY Reviews about this and how impossible it is. But anyway, look, he's managed to do it all the way around really well so like even on this cupboard here it's got to be able to glide out but it looks great I'm really really pleased with it good morning i'm just heading into the village past my favorite house look at this house the, the lavender is amazing at the moment look at that so lovely yeah, I'm just heading into the village because I've got to go to the post office. Vinted parcels to post. Got loads today. I'm on this reel selling and buying. Well, not buying so much, but selling. I don't know what, but that's what I'm doing. I'm selling and buying on Vinted. It's brilliant. I love it. I've just got a Phoebe Aceman costume. I've just arrived from Bowden today. Brand new from Vinted. And I'm heading to Cora now to buy some bread. I've got a load of people coming for lunch for a meeting about playgroup. Yeah, so I've got a load of ladies coming with tiny babies, which I'm very excited about. So I'm putting on a lunch in the new kitchen, having it all laid out on the island so that they can all come with their little babies and we can chat about playgroup for September. So I can't wait for that. So I'm gonna go and get some nice bread now. I'm back from town. I'm just laying out the food. I've just seen some of the ladies in the village. They're already here and I'm not ready. So we've just been laying out all the salads. My lovely au pair Melissa has been helping me. Um, we've got some bread. So I went to Cora and it was closed because um, it's not open till Wednesday, which is really annoying. I ended up going to Costco, so I've got different loaves of bread here. We've got some little quiches in the oven too. And then we've basically got picky bits, plates. We've got some cheesecake for dessert. And then I've just set up out here. I'll show you outside. Oh, luckily the sun has come out. So I'm hoping actually everyone will sit out here. So I've just put the umbrella up as well. Can you see that? I'm totally exhausted. Um, 
the last lady left about 3 30 and look i've got so much food left i'm gonna basically feed the kids this for tea i'm not sure if they realize that i'm hoping they will eat lots of it's quite fancy they're not gonna eat it are they so i'm just gonna package it all up and cover it over until later put some of it in the fridge we've had some really delicious cheesecake this, one of these ladies bought that i just ate a slice not great for my diet is it uh but yeah it was really good um it was nice to see lovely ladies um with tiny babies and we were trying to work out like a rotor for next september and what we're going to do for play group and how we're going to run it so that was nice to see them my lovely au pair has gone to pick up the kids so it means that i can tidy up i can finish editing the family photo shoot that i did at the weekend and um i can try and organize this house a bit better got loads of toys out we had some few toddlers that came so we got some toys out for them to play there and yeah i feel like i'm exhausted i feel like it's a friday and it's not even a friday and I, like it wasn't even a boozy lunch it was just coffee and teas and elderflower just cordial so it was nothing exciting but i feel so tired so um this evening we have got the brown is it brownie don't know i think it's brownies tonight um, so it's a quick tea and then a turnaround and then tomorrow i'm trying to think what i'm doing i'm going to get my eyebrows laminated again and my eyelashes extended so i'm gonna hopefully have them a little bit shorter than what i had last time so they weren't so long maybe a bit more fuller but natural as possible if possible I don't know how natural they ever look, but I do ha like having them done. I feel like I don't have to wear mascara. There's definitely a noticeable difference and it really helps with my aging eyes with my lines here. Oh, I I'm still haven't gone back down the Botox route. So I had it done in September. I had a tiny bit of baby Botox and I did notice a little bit, you know, and I felt a lot tighter here and here and here. But the main reason why I didn't continue with it because it's so expensive. I find like getting all these things done it costs so much money. Like my hair is at least £100 every time. I've got black roots. So I have to pay for that. I, I love to get my nails done. That's expensive. I love to do my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So my forehead had to give it a miss. And I just... I kind of don't know whether I'm ready to continue paying that much money. So with Botox, you have to keep repeating it over and over again. And I'm not sure I'm there yet, but I will be soon. So I'm not against it by by any means. I, you know, I think anything to make yourself feel better and look less tired than this. Uh, but at the moment, I was just like, it's just another expense that I just don't want to do right now but i will look to do with it in the future i think anyway what, what was that bubble about and then i've got raf's uh, graduation so he is graduating tomorrow from nursery because he's going to school in september i don't think i'll believe it until it actually happens in september but he's got he's graduating doing a little ceremony so that's tomorrow afternoon so that'll be really nice and nice to see him move up with his classmates as well and then I think it's, the, it's basically the end of term on Thursday for my children. And then I think I've got about eight weeks of them, maybe ten weeks, I don't know, it's just too long. So I am desperately trying to organise my diary and work out what we are going to be doing over the summer. I've kind of left it and I should have organised it before now. So we're doing lots of trips away this summer. We are going down to see my parents, to see my sister, to see my other sister. We're going to Norfolk. So we're just going to do lots of trips around. Next week, though, we are going away on holiday for the first time in about, I want to say five years, four years, five years. I'm not even sure Rafferty's been on a plane. I think maybe he has once. So he really doesn't understand what it is, but he's like, are we going to a beach? And I was like, sort of. So we are packing, well, I am packing with my lovely au pair, and she's helping me pack for the kids. Unfortunately, she's not coming with us. We, look, I, as much as I would love her to come with us, I think it's really nice to actually have some family time too. I'm slightly regretting that now, because I think it should be amazing to have some help there. But we're gonna go just as a family, which we haven't really done before 
at all. We did it once last year when we went to Sulcombe and it was lovely. It was so nice just to have our family. Before that, we've gone away with my family. It's very intense, there's lots of kids, there's lots of people. I think there's about 15 of us. So it'll be really nice to just go away, just us. And what will be the best thing is to see my husband not doing work. He works all the time. If he's not working, doing real work, he's working on the house and he's just busy, busy, busy. I don't think he likes to sit down. So I am really excited for him to just have a break from work and just relax. I'm not sure if he knows how to do that. So I'm hoping that we will have the most amazing time. We're also doing a, we're staying in a hotel, which we've never done. We're doing half board. So we, I think we've got breakfast and dinner. And yeah, I'm just really excited to have that time as a family which we just never get we're always rushing we're always it's always chaos here it's always one club after the next club next activity next party next whatever it is and so we never have time to actually stop as a family and just spend time together so i'm really really excited for it slightly nervous we're not going to get there and those of you not in the uk there's lots of things happening in the airports where they're losing all the bags or the flights are cancelled. So we're kind of, I'm trying not to get too excited in case it doesn't happen. But then also I'm trying to be very positive because I'm so excited. So excited. I cannot wait. And until I'm there, I don't think I'll believe it. Until we're actually sat on the plane and we actually arrive there, I really won't believe we're going. Um, so fingers crossed, everybody, that we actually get there. When you watch this, I'm hoping that we will be there. And then I will document it all because I really want to find some lovely family holidays that I can recommend. So I'm hoping this will be a really good one that I will be able to recommend to you for the future. Anyway, I need to go and clear up all this, finish off this photo shoot and get ready for them all returning. Uh, ready to be fed and ready to off, go off to brownies. It's all go, go, go. Good afternoon. I think it's the afternoon or maybe still the morning actually. I've just had my eyebrows laminated. I didn't have them tinted this time, and I probably should have done, just to make them a little bit darker here. They're quite light. But I'm going now to Rafferty's nursery graduation because he's moving up. I can't believe he's going to school. So I just thought, rather than having big black eyebrows, I better not, you know, at least with my, with my eyelashes, I can disguise them with um, sunglasses. So I have had my eyelashes extensions done so I've had them classic very short and very natural so they're much shorter than I had before because I think they were just a bit too big but I'm really pleased with them I love having these done oh especially when they're first done they just feel like amazing so I've just been applying some makeup underneath um around I'm trying to avoid the eye area just because I've got this school function now I've got a really busy day so today is Raf's nursery graduation and then tomorrow we've got like speech days for the girls for school so one's in the morning one's in the afternoon and then i think there's a, a year group picnic as well so it's pretty intense tomorrow and then friday i'm going to be packing to go away um yeah so most of the girls stuff is nearly ready raft is nearly ready and so it's my stuff that i haven't done on my husband's stuff and what my husband tends to do is yeah, yeah i've packed and then we get there and he's like, yeah, I've got two t-shirts and three pairs of pants. And I'm like, we're here for a week, what are you gonna do? So I kind of need to oversee his packing. He's very good at building, very good at doing the kitchen, but when it comes to packing, he's rubbish. So I've noticed that he's bought himself a few new shirts and t-shirts, which is very unusual as well, because he doesn't do that. So I've been um, tr yeah, I've been basically looking at what he's got. My nails are still on, by the way, look at that. Very impressed with them keep getting loads of compliments on them the tips are a bit I don't know the growth hasn't isn't too bad because I had whatever it's called French I feel like I could get away with these lasting for a bit longer I'm hoping they will last the whole holiday I'm gonna take my stuff just in case they don't because if one comes off then that's it they're all gonna have to come off and I don't know how to get these tips off Not worried about that. but yeah I'm quite pleased with them they're pretty good Anyway, off track, but basically my day is just like crazy, crazy busy and I've got to sort out teachers' presents and things like that for tonight. 
because tomorrow it's obviously the last day I can't believe it I'm still not organized for summer at all I'm writing a blog though at the moment about things to do with kids in Yorkshire over the summer that we've already done and some things that we haven't done like this beehive from Stockwell Park which we went to last week which was really good so those sort of things are going to be in this blog and I'm going to do a paragraph about each and why I like them and stuff like that so you'll be able to hopefully that will go live maybe when this video is out so you can go on the website and have a look and um, what else I've been listening to really good podcasts this week but yeah I just feel like I'm crazy crazy busy all the time and it's actually really nice to lie down and actually just have, talk and have your eyelashes done I think they look good I mean, what do you think I think they look okay anyway I'm waiting for Raf because he is coming to meet me he's just been to his old nursery and my lovely au pair is dropping him off here and then we're heading to school for his graduation so I need to get ready for him arriving he should be here any second good afternoon um it is Wednesday is it Wednesday we have just got back from school because we've had his graduation thing and then I had to pick up children uh anyway we're back now but i wanted to show you where we've got to in this room so this is the wall that's gone up and he's put on this kind of tape stuff i don't know what it's called that round the edges around the top and then he seems to have used some sort of plaster or something so he did that last night when he got back he's left these wires out so we can put lights here and one over here and then through here We've got this hole where, because the oven used to be here, so there used to be a filter that went out uh, and it actually was just a big hole that went out. <laughs> Ooh. So he seems to have like put this in there. Oh look, he's actually blocked, he went on a ladder outside, so he's done something. Because I could see outside yesterday, I can't anymore. And I think the idea is he's gonna cement this in so that it's actually not um, a hole out. Then he's got this board that's going up round here the desk and then obviously everything looks like this it's just dust revolting so he now needs to take um unplug all the electrics and then take off all the plugs um and then move them because some of them are going to be where the desk level will be so it won't work apparently so he's got to move these plugs here I don't know when he's moving those, I don't know. So that's his plan. And then over here we are going to have a DIY kitchen unit here. And I think what we're going to do is use the cupboards and put some down here. So I think I showed you the other day. But I think now he's done all of this, we can actually order the order, ask the plasterer to come to plaster this space. I'm not sure why he's not plastered that bit there. It's a bit random. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe he can't get to it not sure anyway this is where we've got to so he's gonna be late back tonight so I don't think he's gonna be able to get anything done tonight and but I think over the summer this is basically our project to get all of this sorted and done and so we can use it um, we're thinking of using the color yellow in here probably a bit like this don't know what that is a saw probably a bit like that so we're going to use the yellow color on the back wall units i think i don't know how it's going to work to be honest in fact you know what i need to do is actually find some other interiors that are yellow and use it for inspiration yellow is quite like a warming welcoming happy color so when he said it i was like do you know what yeah and i think he wanted me to say no way and i was like yeah no i think that's a good idea so we're going with yellow and then in here this room pretty much looks the same it's we've got lots of work arrived from school back here that I need to put away we collect all the things in boxes over here so anything that's that they want to keep they're all kept over there um, I'm not quite sure why we're keeping things like this what is that a world or something yeah so we've got lots of things to sort out today and put away and get organized for our holiday so friday i'm going to be packing i think that is my day for packing and organizing and i think i'm just gonna to have to forget about this mess it's such a mess isn't it Ugh. i think the problem for me is the dust it's 
really dusty and we met a friend the other day and who's like moving out well this is all being done i was like that's such a good idea because it's just filthy it's just really like the dust i'm finding is everywhere and it just seems to travel Ugh. anyway i will be back on here tomorrow to chat i'm sure although it's going to be a crazy busy day but i'll try come try and come back on so see you on thursday gosh this week's going too fast hello it's um friday i think i've got no idea so yesterday you might have seen some clips of um the cricket that I was watching it was quite hard to take any photos of yesterday because basically I spent all day at school and I tend not to try to put too much on here about my kids and school and things like that for obvious reasons and so I couldn't really show you much because I spent from 8 o'clock till 4 o'clock there yes we had a really nice day and Tilly is her house captain for her her school and so her house won so she got to go up on the stage and get a shield which was really nice so that was quite nice to see her do that uh, today though however they've been absolutely awful Matilda's just been awful so we have been trying we I've been trying to pack I've really not got very far like there's nothing on the bed because I haven't really started just had my old lady neighbours come over so I've got an old man and old lady who live next door who are just so lovely I like love hanging out with them they're just like so yeah they just they've done so much with their life I mean he's got so much to tell and talk about and they just love to chat and she brings us over big cakes to make me fatter and you know it's really really nice anyway they wanted to come and see the kitchen so I said okay come come over and I wish I'd cleaned more for them because the house is immaculate and yeah anyway it's just so nice for them to see the kitchen because they've obviously lived next door to this house for years and years and nothing's really happened with it and I always said to her I want to change the space I want to change the space and she was like oh it's lovely and I was like no it's not so she came in she was just like wow so she looked at the kitchen she loved the floor and yeah it was really really nice so they've gone back now I'm now back on my packing duties I've sat them all on an iPad because I've literally given up we're on the first day of the holidays and my children are driving me up the actual wall seriously <laughs> <laughs> just a nightmare i need to make a list of all the things that i need to remember like adapters plugs in fact i did that is a really important question i've got no idea where all the adapters are i need to sort out things like plain outfits and stuff that i'm gonna wear i also need to pack for my husband i think i mentioned on here before but he's got this tendency to pack like three t-shirts and two pairs of pants for a week and then go oh i've not got anything so I want to lay it all out for him. He's like, no, 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 I'll do it. And I was like, mm, can I just oversee? So I'm going to try and oversee this time because it's always a bit of a disaster and we always have to go and find and buy things. And I don't really know what you can buy where we're going. I've never been. So next week's vlog will basically be all about our holiday. And as I've said previously on here, this is the first time we've been away in five years. And I actually don't believe we are going until we're actually there so many people i know their flights have been cancelled every like things are happening in airports and bags are getting lost and so i'm really nervous we're not actually gonna get there so i'm trying not to think about it and talk about it however i do need to actually pack some stuff and my husband's just said we can only take small bags and not very heavy and i'm like ugh so i'm really gonna have to think and limit my clothes i can't even show you the mess one thing arrived today though that i wanted to show you i've been looking for a beach bag and i actually bought one um lily bean i bought it two weeks ago um and i was like it's not here it's not here anyway i went to go and look uh it was really expensive and went to go and look and it says it can take up to eight weeks i was like what where is it coming from so that's not going to arrive by tomorrow morning so i was like what can i use as a beach bag last year i had a jules one which was lovely but it was white and it basically just got trashed within the first day um so i was trying to find something and i've only got really nice handbags i've got no sort of trashy bag that i can put with sandy stuff so i've ordered this 
so I wanted a kind of beach bag. I love the ones that you see on Instagram. Everybody's got them. I looked at that, it was very expensive. And so I went with this brand here. So this is called, how do you say it? Henrietta Spencer, England. And it's got, it's enclosed. Can you see there? It's got like the zip across the top. What I really like is the handles. They're really long and they just look like really com well it looks comfy I hope it is to wear over my shoulder as you can notice it's a bit bulgy at the back here so this is actually a seconds one so if you go on their website they've actually got a depop um, page where they sell uh, bags like this that are sort of a little bit out so I think that this this was not in the center which I didn't really notice and I think because it's got a slight bulge at the back there, you know, it was reduced. But they're really reduced. So I thought it was quite nice. I did think it might be bigger. However, I think if it was bigger, I'd probably just fill it with more drink. So maybe it's good that it's not bigger. Um, so I'm going to be using that as my holiday bag. And I actually think I might not... Maybe I should take another bag, actually. Just for evenings? Yeah, I'll take another bag for evenings. Don't know what. Maybe like a little gold one. I've got a gold one here um that i can take something like this you know one of these that will go with everything would be quite useful so i might take that just for evenings to have and then i will use that bag there for the day so anyway i'm gonna get on my packing i've got need to watch my youtube video for next week i will watch them all before they go live got a lovely lady called sophie who edits these videos and does all the pop-up things and everything which I have no idea how she does that and so I always watch it beforehand and I normally watch it on a Monday and it goes live on a Tuesday however we're not going to be here and I want it to set it so that it goes live fingers crossed that works because I'm not sure anymore. Um, so I'm doing that now whilst packing um, so I've got so much to do luckily for me my amazing au pair Melissa has packed for the kids it's literally amazing so she has been organising, sorting all week and piling up everything that we need and yeah, it's just, I'd like, I could not do this without her. She's so good. Unfortunately she's not coming with us which I'm a bit like, why did I do that? Because I really would love her to come. But I think equally it's really important to have family time together so yeah, I can't wait. I can't, I literally can't wait. I'm so excited for this holiday. I can't wait. <laughs> Anyway, I will um, catch up with you hopefully a bit later. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think I'll, I'll try and show you my bag once they're packed. But so this might be a short vlog because I'm going to end this on Saturday because we will be flying and it won't be that very, very interesting to document. So I'm going to start the new vlog hopefully Sunday, maybe Saturday on the plane. We'll see how we get on. Let's just hope we get there. Everyone keep everyone keep their fingers crossed that we actually arrive at our destination. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Right, so I'm now on toiletries. I normally pack way too many toiletries, so I'm trying to be really good and limited. And I've bought little bottles. I figure that you're going to be able to buy stuff there if you need it. I'm going to take Capo with us just in case. And then I've got the iPad in my Aurelia bag. There they are. I need to just put one more in there to charge up. So I've just been laying out my husband's clothes, so that is on that side. Pretty much t-shirts and shorts. And then over this side, oh, it doesn't even look very organised, does it? But I've just been trying to check what kind of things that I need. So I've gone with... This I bought last year in Sulcum. Like, to be honest, I have not worn it since. It's very bright. It's from this brand called Miss Sugar. I think you can buy them online. I mean, they're everywhere in all sorts of seaside towns and that sort of thing. Um, it's got long sleeves and kind of reads out. It's actually quite flattering on because it's quite wide. So it's good to wear a bikini or something like that. But I thought I would take this. And then I've got here, basically, Jules dresses. Those are two old new look dresses, which I'm going to bring because they're really kind of flattering on. They've got the rouge bit around to the bust and then it goes down. So basically, I've got dresses... I've got this white shirt which I'm not sure whether to bother bringing it's like a white linen H&M shirt pyjamas and then I've just got swimming costumes because I figured in the day we're just going to be wearing swimming costumes got these pyjamas which are quite light 
So these are from Asda of all places. I bought them the kids' ones to match and I've actually got some for my husband as well. And then here is my swimming costume. So I've got some cover-ups. These are all from Fantasy. I love their swimwear because it obviously comes in cup sizes. So this is bikini. I'm not sure if you can still get this one. This was last season. Here we go. I doubt I'll probably get in a bikini, but I just thought I'd take it just in case. This is a tankini. Um, there we go, and it rouges up at the side, so I'm going to be wearing that. Um, this is, oh, this is lovely. I'll try and show this to you next week. It's like a dress, like a maxi dress to wear over costumes, but it's really nice. Again, it's fantasy. This I've never worn, which I cannot wait to wear. It's got the cup sizes inside because it's just really structured and good to wear the other day when i went to spa i wore not a um structured swimming costume structured with a bra i mean and oh my gosh i was just like this is really bad i'm falling out all over the place so i think hopefully this will be really good so i've got that one and i've got this one which arrived recently and i love it it's very a bit out there and a bit wild. My husband's going to be like, what are you wearing? But I really like it. So I've got all those to wear. So I've got quite a lot of costumes and dresses. And that's about it in my packing. My husband is taking short, lots of pink. Look, pink shorts, pink shirt. Mm. I think he needs some, some more colours. And then he's just got a load of t-shirts that he's bought. So some are h and M. I think some are Marks. And then he got some from Jack Wills and Crew. I think Crew is probably one of his go-to shop, shops. He loves it. And the shirts there he really likes. They just got that one, I think, in the sale. Anyway, we're getting there slowly with the packing. Um, I've also got my packing cubes out. So these are from a company. Can I find the tag? Here we are. Um, it's called Maya Tutu. Tui? Tui? I can never say it and they're packing cubes so I'm going to be using those so I'll put all my costumes in one, all my knickers and underwear in another and try and be, um, they're all different sizes so they're great so I got them part of a collaboration that I did last summer and with it came this bag so I've got two bags and one of them was this which I absolutely love so I'm actually going to try and take this so this is for um, like a laptop, you've got a laptop slot in the back here and it's just a really nice bag it's got so many different compartments and the thing i like about it is the lining is all blue so you can find all your things inside it's not dark you know like a usual bag but it's got so many different compartments and things i've got all my camera stuff in here i used it for a photo shoot last week it's got a zip pocket at the back here um and just the detail and the quality is really nice it's not leather it's plastic um and it's just really really lovely we've got a nail file in there that might be useful but these are good for water bottles it's really comfy to wear so i really really like it i love this color as well i'm a massive gold like this fan so i'm thinking how can i incorporate that somehow although i have got my basket the kids are all taking backpacks i'll show you downstairs their backpacks for them We've got three backpacks for them packed ready. When I say we, my lovely au pair did this, so I can't take much credit. But she has packed inside. They've both got the girls two reading books to read. Um, they've got a pencil case with pencils and pens and things like that. So inside we've got a colouring book. And then I bought these books, which I just wanted to show you. Let me just pull them out. Hold on. So we've got Happy Confident Me. And this is a journal which I just thought would be really nice for her to do. And then there's a theme going, can you see? Happy, Confident Me, Life Skills Journal. So this is just slightly different, this one, but I just thought it'd be really interesting for her to do this. We are trying to make her a lot more confident. This is this one. Um, and then we've got Be Positive. these are all off Amazon they're part of I think the sort of same collection and when you google one on Amazon it'll come up but I just thought they were really nice and then in Matilda's I got her I'll just show you she has got 
this book here which is create your own happy which again is like a little journal workbook um, I also got her this which is uh, Matilda how to be a genius I thought she'd love that so Matilda's got that they she's got two books in here I don't know which book she's chosen we've got David Walliams the ice monster and then we have got she's got two very big books um, oh, another David Williams, the Demon Dentist, so those are the two she's chosen. She's got a pencil case as well. I've also got a new game in here for them, which is this one here. I don't know how good it is, but I just thought it's something a bit different. We always play Uno, so I thought that might be interesting to play. So she has got that. Raph in the front here has got his little Batman and Batman and some cars. Oops, Batman's getting stuck, here he is. So we've got some cars in there and some Batmans so that he can play with those. He loves just playing with the Batmans, running them up and down. And then inside we have got a Travel Connect 4. Um, again, they don't know they've got any of this, so it's quite nice. Pencil case, he's got some wipes, he's got one of those fidget thingies. Another little game that's a travel game. And then he's got a magazine at the back, which I never buy. Yeah, I avoid buying them, but I bought it just for the special occasion because the girls have got the books and they've got the workbooks. I'm hoping this will keep them busy on the plane. Um, so I'm hoping that he will be okay with that. We've got, of course, got our trusty Uno game. If you don't play that, then you need to get one. We love that. So we've got lots to do, but I need to finish packing my bag. Okay, right, ready? Go. Oh no! Quick, what? quick! What? Try again. This is the only one that works. Okay, try again. Go, go, go. Red, two. Whoa, that was brilliant! This is called Speed Tracks. Uh, Speed Track? I think that code on your something like that. I'll try and find the link and put it below. But it is honestly the best thing ever. You just pull it out and put it up wherever you want. Um, and if I had more lug room in my luggage, I would be taking this with me because it's brilliant. Like oh, like flat like that. It didn't work. It's upside down. Hmm. I'm gonna try and make it feel flat. Okay, go go go. Woo! Amazing. Hello and happy um, Saturday. I can't quite believe it, but we're actually I'm actually ready. I don't want to tell my husband that. I'm always late. And um, I've packed everything in the car. So I've just been doing my hair. Yeah, I've just been doing my hair. I don't know why, because it's all going to fall out in the airport. But I've got on this really nice, it's kind of like a um, jumpsuit, but it's like jersey fabric, so it's really lovely. So it's from uh, Susie D, it's called, um, and it's from Jezebel's. And I've got a code. I think it's simply Caroline 10 to get 10% off, but it comes in like blue, a grey, wish I got the blue, but I really like this kind of khaki, greeny colour. So I've got that on because I thought it'd be really comfy to wear um, in the airport. It's boiling here today. Trust us to be going away when there's a heat wave about to happen. I'm hoping that, that this is not it for summer. I was trying to show you the sun. Can't really see there. It is beautiful absolutely stunning here today <laughs> really really lovely so um yes yeah, so i've got this on um and it's sort of like a drop waist um very stretchy really comfy and it goes all the way down to here to my legs there you go so it kind of reaches at the bottom there but it's really nice so i've got that on and then i've got um this which i'm actually just going to take in my bag I'm figuring it's going to be um a bit kind of cold maybe on the plane I'm just speaking to my brother and he's actually there where we're going and he's like boiling I was like do I need a cardigan in the wind like when it in the winter in the when it's in the evening do I need a cardigan he's like not really it's boiling so I'm hoping that I won't because I haven't really packed, packed one cardi that's it so this is from Jules this is actually new in it's black and white stripes which I don't normally go for at all and I really don't go for stripes however it's a really nice knit Got a collar to it and on the cuff detail it's got like a little bit of 
brown which I thought was quite nice so I thought that would match really nicely with this um, if I get cold then I've also got my new basket which I'm really pleased with it's actually really big and it's really nice to have the zip on the top it just normally you know it's all open and I always remember mum going watch people don't put, pick things out your bag so it's quite nice to have that zip on which I wouldn't ever be bothered about Paul but I actually really like that I've got that I've got my lovely hat this is my Hicks and Brown hat they I think they gifted this to me last summer um, but it's a really nice one to have on. I just love it so I'm gonna try and carry that I don't know how that will go down so I don't want to squash it um, so I can take that with me so I can sit by the pool with that and then I've also got these shoes so these are quite a new purchase I've never bought off this band before so it's they're Holland and Cooper and I last year I bought the dupe Hermes sandals and I got them off eBay and they were actually really good like a really good copy however they didn't last of course they won't so uh, yeah I think I threw them away by the end of the summer because I wore them pretty much all summer so this year I was going to get the June ones that everyone else has got which are quite similar um, and then I thought do you know what no I'm going to try this brand so pretty much the same price as June I think yeah um, so but they're never in stock these so I got these they were in stock I had to like just put my email in and all that I'm really pleased with them I've just noticed though, um, I've saved my search on Vinted, quite a lot of Holland Cooper things are on Vinted and I've saved the search on there so that I will hopefully get alerts because I really like it, it's quite nice quality. I recently I went into a shop where they stocked all their stuff and they had some really nice v-neck t-shirts with like little gold button detail, they had some really lovely for winter polar neck woolen beautiful feeling tops which I think I want to try and get some of those for like winter and just have them as a staple to wear with things I just really I always look for a nice roll neck you know not too chunky but you can wear under things like coats and stuff like that so so yeah so I basically am packed I'm ready the kids are just having some lunch um, and we are going to go can't believe it our first holiday in however long last year we went to Sulcombe and we had the best time ever we just went with our family and it was really really nice and we were very very lucky with the weather I think the week we left it just turned and was awful so we were really lucky and we would have done that again but everything even in this country is so expensive that I was just like do you know what I'm desperate to go abroad you know to that heat and that you know when you get out the plane you just feel that I was just like, I need to do that. Um, so we searched and searched, and we've actually booked with a travel agency lady. Again, I can put her link below, and she was basically organised the whole thing. I gave her a brief and said, look, this is what we want, hot, hot, bit of a kids club, really nice, beautiful. And she came up with lots of different suggestions, lots that were very expensive and lots that were maybe within slight budget and we yeah we we've just been chatting to her for the last few months and basically organized this so yeah I can't wait to show you next week on next week's vlog where we're going and what we're up to I'm being a bit mysterious basically because I'm just like I can't believe it's actually happening until we're there I don't think I'm gonna believe it I keep checking the passports to check they're in date you know I'm thinking should we have had I don't know, 10 million vaccinations to get it. I don't know, I'm just really worried that we're not going to get there. Um, so, <laughs> next vlog should be the whole week in this place where we're going. So you'll have to wait to see that. Um, if you like this vlog though, please subscribe. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next week when this, uh, so it will go live on Tuesdays, hopefully Tuesdays at about 6.30 to 7.30, 7.30 in the morning, that is the time when these will go live. So I can't wait to show you what we're up to. I hope you all have a fabulous week and see you then. Bye bye.